You know, it's not often that I come across a product that I would put into the category of revolutionary. But on today's build show, I've got a product that I think is absolutely going to change the way houses are built in America when it comes to efficiency, indoor air quality, health, and comfort. On the Build Show today, we're going to be talking about a revolutionary product. It's actually a process that I think is dramatically going to change the way houses are built in America. We're going to be talking specifically about Aero Barrier. I saw these guys at the International Builder Show, and I wanted to do a first house with them. And in fact, this is the first house that's ever been air sealed in Texas with the Aero Barrier system. But before I get into all the specifics on how it was done on this house, let me tell you why air sealing is so important. I get tons of comments about houses being built too tight. Air sealing is critical to me as a builder. Here's why. There's four control layers every house needs to control. Number one, water. If water gets in, forget about the rest of what we did as a builder. We're going to get a lawsuit. <laughs> we got to fix it. It's a huge deal for us. So we have to waterproof. Number two, air. When air leaks in, all kinds of bad things come with it. And we're going to have a really hard time delivering a healthy house and a comfortable house to our clients if air can leak in uncontrollably. Number three, we need to control vapor flows. Especially important for those northern builders up there because it depends on where that um, vapor barrier needs to be on the wall depending on the time of year, so it's a little bit trickier to control vapor. And lastly, houses need to control thermal. That's the insulation in the walls. That's the heat flow. Now that order of all four of those, super important. You're never going to get a call at 2 a.m. from a client saying that your house is leaking air, but you're sure going to get a call if your house is leaking water. But right behind waterproofing is air sealing, and it's super important to me as a builder because as a remodeler, I've seen tons of houses that had a bunch of condensation on the back of the sheetrock, which led to moisture and mold and all kinds of bad things. And remember, when that air leaks in, it's going to bring with it pollen and all kinds of other nasties. And if air can leak in, typically those bugs can get in as well. So air sealing is super important. All right, so here's what we're doing here today, guys. We brought the Aero Barrier guys in all the way from Ohio to do the very first Texas house with their system. Now, this is a revolutionary system. I think it's incredible. Let me walk you through it start to finish. Now, first, we started with a pretty tight house over here. We actually did a pre-blower door test on this house, and we tested this at 1 ACH 50. But we wanted to be much tighter than that if we could, and here's where their system comes in. So what they do is they set up these nozzles around the house on a tripod stand, and you're going to see these multicolored cords kind of running throughout the house. Now these nozzles are going to spray an acrylic product, basically a, kind of like an aero, aero uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like an aerosol caulking into the air, a very, very fine caulking that's misted throughout the whole house. And then at the same time, they're going to pressurize the house with the blower door running in reverse, meaning that we're going to push air into the house. And then all those little cracks and crevices, all those small places that might leak air, that mist that's in the air of this basically the acrylic caulk that's floating is going to start accumulating. Now, I ran a really cool test. I've got a door over here set up where I've got an air conditioner coming through. So we've got a piece of plywood in there for temporary job site conditioning. And I cut three holes in that door. I, I ran a small hole, a 3 8 inch hole. I put a kerf cut on a saw. And then I ran a big 2 inch hole saw over there. And I put a screen door material over top of that. And as the test runs, as this aerosol accumulates, check out what's happening over here. The, the hole, the 3 8 inch hole, was totally glommed up. Basically a big, almost like a snot ball of this product totally sealed that hole off. And in fact, they tell me they can seal up to a half inch hole. The kerf cut, again, almost looked like I put a direct bead of caulking on that kerf cut. But I found this super interesting. This is that screen material. And look how it accumulated on the screen here. You can see the back of the screen right here where you can still see the screen. And that white material from Aero Bear just totally clogged up all those holes. And on the front side, it looks like just a white circle, almost as if it had been caulked over. My understanding is this actually happened pretty quick, and that's basically what's happening throughout the entire house. Now, this is a pretty tight house to begin with, but of course, there's all kinds of tiny and minute cracks everywhere 
And that's what leads to that loss or that gain. And remember, when that air leaks in, it's bringing with us all kinds of things that we don't want. So if we can't make a proper envelope for our houses, we can't truly condition and, and uh, serve our homeowners with healthy air on the inside. Now, of course, people are going to comment, this house is too tight. Don't forget, guys, this is brand new construction. I've got a fresh air system. It's going to run through my ventilating dehumidifier so I can drop the humidity out. It's going to run through a giant media filter so I can take out all the pollens and all the nasty stuff. And then I can bring in air on my terms when I want that air, not just when the air is blowing. And it's not going to be filtered through my stud bays where I might also get some particulate matter or some fiberglass or whatever it is in those stud bays. So this is an incredible process. Now again, we started with a very tight house and they ran this test for about 90 minutes start to finish. And at the end of the 90 minutes, guess what my score was? 0.3 ACH50. Now if you're not a nerd out there, you don't know what that means, but let me, let me uh, translate that to code. Code requires us to have a tight envelope that in the north is a three ACH50. So I'm actually a one before I started a 0.3. I'm 90% better than code if I'd built this house in the north. Down here in the south where I am, I only need to make a 5 ACH50, and now I've got a 0.3. So this is a much, much tighter house than what even code requires. All right, now I want to bring on uh, Sean Harris. Sean is actually uh, one of the local guys that you've seen in my videos before. Uh, and Sean helps me on all kinds of different things in my houses. But Sean, you ran uh, with the Arabera crew from Ohio today in doing this install. I know one of the questions we're going to get is, what does this cost? How would you answer that question? Well, Matt, uh, the price varies dramatically. We're not talking about hundreds of dollars. We're talking more thousands of dollars. Uh, but it really depends on the square footage, how much leakage there is. If you're starting at a 10 ACH50, that would be one thing. You know, trying to get 10 down to 0.5 or lower, uh, it's going to be quite challenging and time consuming. Um, not everybody can build a 1 ACH50 house, uh, you know, to, to start out with. So. So, Sean, as you've seen this now in person um, and on my house, how would you see other builders maybe using this process? Uh, I think this is great. Uh, it's going to be able to have people rethink that the materials that they're using for air sealing, for example, you could go with uh, air barrier and then you wouldn't need to use spray foam as your air sealant. And you can maybe go with a more cost-effective insulation that way. Yeah, and you know, another thing that I was thinking too, Sean, is, uh, I don't know if you saw my Zip 2.0 videos, but we could use the Huber Zip system on the outside, which is already a pretty airtight system. Uh, and then we could hang either our air barrier or our drywall on the lid, depending on where you are in the uh, north versus the south. And then, prior to insulation, you could actually come in and spray this air barrier system. Would that work? That would be great, Matt. And what's really great about that is that you can then quantify the results of the, the building envelope before you start adding insulation and things that would cover those things up. You already know that you're passing at your final or what your leakage scores are. It's this repeatable process, a turnkey solution that can really uh, benefit everyone involved. Um, Sean, tell me, would this work on a remodel situation as well? Yes, sir, definitely. Remodels are great. Uh, there's a little more prep involved in remodels as far as covering the floors and things. In this particular case, we've got some plywood down that's under the subfloor, so we're not going to worry about needing to cover that. But, but in a remodel situation, more care will have to be taken. Yeah, because this aerosol caulk is going to land on those horizontal surfaces, you either need to have a rough surface like this that we're not worried about, it's going to get covered later, or you could cover that. But that's, honestly, I think that's something that's going to come into uh, its own on this product in the next couple years, is really we could see every house that gets resold come in and air barrier it. And a you know, 1970s, 1980s, 90s house that's pretty leaky, not super efficient, you can come in and tighten the heck out of that house and get guaranteed results just like we had today, right? Definitely, absolutely. That's impressive stuff. Sean, how can people find out more about Air Barrier? They can go to airbarrier.net and they can see if there's a dealer in their area. Uh, a lot of this is, is brand new to, to a lot of the country and so you'll have to see if there's one in your area that, that can help you out. Yeah, that's my understanding is that things are really just getting set up. In fact, that's why I was the first house in Texas. We don't really have all the infrastructure in place quite yet. But stay tuned for this. Be on the lookout for an air barrier dealer in your town. If you're a builder or a modeler, 
architect. This is something that's really going to be a game changer out there. Sean, thanks so much for coming out and spraying this house for me. I think the results are incredible. I am super psyched. And in fact, this is the tightest house I've ever built officially now uh, with that blower door score of 0.3 ACH50. Guys, for more information on this process, check out that link in the description below. Otherwise, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.